Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So in last lecture we studied about RRC signaling and SN signaling and in this lecture we will see how default EPS bearer is established in an LTE network. So let me give you a quick review of uh, last lecture. So, so guys this is our UE uh, which established the RRC connection uh, with three messages. For detailed information you can uh, refer my video that I've, that I have uh, made for this RRC connection establishment and uh, after this <coughs> RRC connection setup the RRC signaling is established and on this message RRC connection setup complete uh, the attach request message is embedded here okay attach request as you know attach request is a NAS message okay so uh, UE means NAS message is the protocol between UE and MME but UE cannot uh, talk to MME directly means there is no interfaces provided in LT so that UE can talk to MME directly so for that uh, first UE has to send the NAS message to E node B and without interfering in that NAS message E node B will forward that message to MME so first attach request comes here to e node b via this message rsc connection setup complete and then initial ue message also carries the attach request message okay so let me tell you the content of this uh, nas message that is attach request message okay uh, i hope uh, you all are aware about this nas message that is non access stratum message uh, it has two parts one is emm and another one is esm it has two layers or you can say two parts so em is emm is uh, eps mobility management and esm is uh, eps session management so uh, the messages like attach request and uh, attach reject the tracking area update these all are comes under this emm part okay and the messages like uh, pdn connectivity pdn connectivity request and default eps bearer context activation this will will see in uh, in few minutes we will we'll see some esm some more esm messages okay so <clears throat> and one more one more thing uh, you should uh, need to know that emm message always carries esm message okay so uh, attach request is our emm message so it will carry an esm message and that esm message is pdn connectivity request okay so this is an esm message this is for session management okay so this message is uh, embedded in attach Im not embedded it is a uh, means content of attach request message so uh, using this message uh, ue is saying to network that i want to establish default eps bearer in your network and along with this pdn connect connectivity request there are some parameters like id of ue it could be your mz or GUTI and or some more parameters like UE capability in UE capability uh, UE tells network means what are the capabilities of this UE like what band it supports what uh, technology or you can say rat it supports 2g 3g or 4g and also what erfcns bands okay so these things are there in capability also it carries some information related to algos algos or better to say algorithms these algorithms are related to your authentication and security purpose okay so some algorithms will be there and 
and ECGI will be there tracking area identity will be there okay and one more thing uh, that is your E node B UE S1 APID will be there actually MME is dealing a lot of uh, UE so to identify a particular UE this ID is required okay so these are the important parameters of attach request message and the same parameters will be present here as well 1 2 3 4 5 6 2 3 4 5 6 same parameters are present in this attach request message so finally MME received the attach request message okay so now what MME will do uh, MME will perform some tasks like authentication authentication okay so you can say this is the second part first part we have uh, performed in we studied in last lecture that is we call it MZ acquisition MZ acquisition where RRC signaling and S1 signaling uh, has been established after that authentication takes place and after that uh, NAS security takes place I'm not cover the authentication and security part here because it's of means of less use means uh, while troubleshooting these means we never face these kind of issues like authentication and NAS security so I will not cover this authentication and NAS, NAS security and after this uh, NAS security uh, that location update takes place location update this we will cover in this lecture and after that EPS session establishment establishment takes place okay and don't forget the other procedures that RATCH before that RATCH procedure is required and that cell search, cell selection, frequency nation, everything I have, uh, I have I have made the videos of all these uh, topics in earlier tutorials okay so we'll start here we are skipping this authentication and NAS security if you guys want me to make a separate uh, make a tutorial for them also then I'll make a separate tutorial okay so let's start with location update so HSS will come in picture for location update HSS also plays role in this authentication also their keys are there so they they share the, the keys and they authenticate each other it's UE authenticates network and net network also authenticates UE okay so <coughs> we are going to study location updates so <coughs> MME will send a request that is location update request message location update request message okay in this message uh, MME includes uh, parameters uh, like MZ MZ of the UE and also the MME ID so you can say MME is uh, telling HSS this, that uh, UE of this MZ will now the means, uh, part of means my MME means you can say MME is responsible means uh, MME is the core part of a network so you can say MME is telling HSS that this MZ is uh, now under my tracking area you can say because tracking areas are also related to MME okay so <clears throat> in response the HSS will send location update response message 
location update response so HSS is acknowledging whatever the MME is telling to HSS and along with this acknowledgement it will uh, share some information it sends MZ also it sends subscribed APN I will tell you about APN subscribe APN and subscribed PGW ID and also subscribed quality of service parameters quality of service parameters uh, I'll make another separate lecture on this that is QCI ARP and uh, AMBRs AP and AMBRs okay so these are subscribe quality of services for now uh, to understand quality of service you can say means what kind of services uh, UE wants to wants means uh, whether uh, what kind of data pack will be there means how much speed it wants so these kind of things comes under quality of service okay now come to APN and one more thing these are subscribed information means when you are uh, buying the sim your all information is uh, stored in HSS so these all are those informations like APN PGWID means what APN you will use what PGWID will, you will use okay now come to APN this is access point name APN stands for access point name so it's a ID of PDN PDN is your uh, packet data network okay so <clears throat> uh, I have to make a, I have to open a new page okay just a second uh, so suppose this is our LTE network okay and this is our UE so PDN could be your uh, internet if you want to use internet or you, if you want to browse the internet then you will use internet PDN or if you want to use Voltaic call then your PDN will be of IMS okay okay so so it's outside it's a entity which is present outside LT network okay so via this LT network we are going to access this PDN and ID of that PDN is known as APN so this APN is also stored in HSS while you buy the new sim okay so we are finishing this lecture here and in next lecture uh, we will continue our topic okay thank you